Hey guys, what is up? Flop here, and uh, it has finally arrived, and I am excited, and here's some footage from it. This is uh, my first game in Star Wars Battlefront, and it is super good. I guess I'll, uh, I don't really know what to say, because I'm uh, recording this after I decided to just uh, record the footage, no audio. Uh, well, the game's audio, but none of my audio, because I just wanted to uh, enjoy it my first time, uh, my first time through. And uh, yeah, I am really enjoying it. The beta just came out on uh, every system except the older gens, which um, is awesome because, you know, you can play it across anything, which is really fun. I'm playing on the Xbox One because my PC won't run it, at least not well. And uh, I like FPS is on console with a controller. I know I'm weird like that, but I enjoy it, and uh, I was having a great time. I played uh, more than I care to admit last night, but it's uh, live for five days. I have plenty of time to play more, which is awesome. And my first impressions of this game is it looks real good. Uh, I was playing on this map. There's two maps available for the beta. One's a snow map, uh, and then there's this map. This is uh, Celeste. I have no idea about the Star Wars lore. I actually am uh, planning to watch the movies before the new one comes out because I forget everything. I haven't watched them in years, so I have no idea how this is relevant, but it looks real good. You know, there's uh, planes crashed across the map, and it looks all dusty and smoky like an actual war-torn planet. And it looks real good, and uh, there's not too many glitches with the graphics. Every now and again you get some weird, uh, like, dropped frames of some cutting around the edges, but it's not terrible. And, you know, it plays well. Uh, I guess we could talk about the game played out. It plays really well. The multiplayer's fun. I haven't tried the mission mode yet. But uh, the two maps play well on multiplayer. The Celeste is only a 16-player map, which I know people are complaining about um, because, you know, well, it's so small. And honestly, it works really well. I'm not a huge fan of, like, 8 versus 8 um, maps, but it works really well as 8v8. And you end up developing some really cool rivalries with the other team because you're playing each other. And you keep running into the same names. And there's actually a rivalry system. I don't know how it works, but if you kill each other enough times, you start getting rival bonuses for killing them. And uh, I think that's really cool. But it works really well as a map. There's tons of points. It's basically wide open with some ridges and stuff. There's trenches to sort of hide yourself, but it ends up just being a really good time. This game mode is really fun. It's called uh, Drop Zone. And it's basically sort of a weird combo between like rush, obliteration, and conquest if we're talking about Battlefield 4. Uh, this game plays a lot like Battlefield 4. I mean, it's made by the same developer. You can definitely feel similarities. Um, I know people don't want it to be some people, but it does feel a lot like it, which I like because I think Battlefield 4 is an amazing game. At least now, not uh, perhaps they should have done a beta at launch, but it's, uh, it's really well done. And I think because of Battlefield 4, Battlefront will come out being really well done. Uh, there's only four guns available, which is uh, is fine. Anyway, but <laughs> let's go back to talking about this drop zone game mode. Basically, pods drop around the map, and you have to go and uh, basically capture them and then hold them for a certain amount of time, and the team who captured the most at the end of the game gets um, the pod, gets the point. And uh, whoever holds the most wins, and uh, I just explained that terribly, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's actually a really fun game mode. It creates really cool sort of uh, things because they can drop randomly off of the map. So you could just be standing there and one will drop next to you. You can grab it easily. Sometimes you have to venture across. The map's not huge. It's big enough that it's really fun and it's small enough that 8v8 works. So it's kind of a, the perfect size. I think they did a really good job in map design with this level. Um, but yeah, there's a, a melee kill. And they have daily challenges, which I think is a really fun um, thing. It was in Battlefield 4, but it's uh, a little bit more present in Star Wars because it's right on your whole menu when you jump into a game. It says active challenges. Uh, there was 10 melee kills. There's vehicle kills, which I think adds a really cool element to the game because you sort of get um, you know, additional challenges in addition to the games, which I find really fun. So it definitely like, raises replayability. Anyway, um, what more can we talk about this game? There's a lot to talk about. Uh, I was mentioning that it plays like Battlefield 4. It does, uh, it's sort of, when you look at the game, it looks very similar um, in terms of layout of elements. You know, you have your map, your little mini map in the lower right corner. There's no spotting of enemies, which I think is nice, but they definitely, you can judge by your map sort of where they are, which is nice. And once you get used to the map, 
you can definitely, uh, you know, you can tell where the spawn points are going to be, so if you're holding a pod on one side, you can guess sort of where they're going to be spawning. There's also the partner spawn, which was a thing in Battlefield where you can spawn on your squad mates. I don't know exactly, I know if you're playing with somebody, um, they can become your partner, but it'll randomly assign you a partner if you're not playing with your friends, um, which is kind of cool, except you can't really see where your partner is unless you scroll through the players. Uh, but your partner will show up on the map, you can see him through things, which is kind of nice. Especially if you're playing with someone, you can have an accurate description of where they are, so you can have a lot of fun just uh, wrecking people like that. In uh, terms of guns, I mentioned there was only four available during this beta, which I think is actually fine. I know there will be a ton more when the game comes out. I actually uh, pre-ordered the deluxe version, so you can uh, you get an additional blaster. Um, there's four available. I'm playing with the starter one, the E11, which in my opinion I like the most. One of the other guns is sort of a sniper, that's also pretty fun, but you can also get a sniper as a power-up. That's called the Cycler Rifle, which is actually one of my favorite things to play with. I'll talk about power-ups in a later video though, because this is sort of this is sort of starting out. But the guns are uh, pretty good. They give four pretty different ones. You sort of play differently with them a little bit. This is more of your uh, assault rifle where you just run in and just sort of boom, boom, pow. I don't know. Black Eyed Peas it up in there. And it's, uh, it's fun. It is fun to play with this gun. It's got a pretty good long range. There's not very much bullet drop in this game, which I guess makes sense because you're shooting lasers. I don't know if lasers would have a drop. So obviously, um, that turns it into a little bit of a different thing. Um, yeah, I think that's really cool. I see some problems with that in the future, especially on PC where it's sniping turns into a bit of a, uh, a skill level thing. And I'm hoping the maps don't have too much of a wide open space. I know the snow map is very wide open, which makes sense, but I'm hoping it doesn't turn into too much of a, uh, you know, snipers at either end and it's hard to get across the map. But I'll talk about the snow map uh, when we're playing that because there's tons of vehicles and stuff, which is really cool. I want to give my first impressions. First impressions of this beta. This is going to be a fun game. I'm real excited for it. I think it'll be really fun. And it gets me real pumped up for, you know, um, playing the game when it comes out in uh, a couple weeks. And it's sort of a fun way to uh, give the fans... I know people were bashing Battlefront, so I don't know if maybe they put this out as like, hey, we can make a good game. Um, because a lot of people were unhappy with Battlefront before it even anything happened, which is very strange. So I think DICE was maybe like, hey, look, we can make a very good game. <laughs> Here's a demo of it. Um, you know, it gets people to buy it. There's an option to buy it right on the home screen. And there's all kinds of cool stuff, and um, there's also a whole power-up system with star cards, which, uh, from what I gather, is going to be linked to the phone app, and there's going to be a mini-game on the phone app that lets you get more points to buy more star cards, which I think is the greatest idea. I haven't really found a cell phone app to a game that actually is good yet, so I think they're, you know, making it so there's a game on the app that helps you in the real game, I think is an amazing addition. Uh, whether or not that actually comes to fruition and what kind of mini game it is, I have no idea any of that, but I think it'll be really cool. And uh, I'm looking forward to playing with that, actually. But uh, it's definitely, the beta's got me excited about the game. And it's kind of nice because after uh, you exit the game, it'll let you take a survey and you can tell them exactly what you liked, what you didn't like. They ask for a rating and they're like, hey, what would this, would you improve, uh, which I think is awesome. They still have a little over a month after the beta stops to release the game, which in terms of uh, publishing the game and getting on disc and stuff, I think gives them about a three week gap to uh, work on the game after the beta. I know they've already done some work on the game during the beta, which is really cool. And they're looking for multiplayer feedback and stuff. What I've experienced is uh, this map really well done, the 8v8. The other map we'll talk about when we get there, but I think it needs a little bit of tuning because the vehicles and stuff, it is fun, but it seems a bit off. Um, we can talk about that after, though. But I've uh, I've actually been having a really good time with this game. <laughs> the clips are coming to an end, so I'm trying to wrap up. My first impressions, definitely positive. Um, I feel like I should stop saying um so much in videos, but it's sort of like hard to kind of gather my thoughts. My first impressions are definitely positive, and I think it's going to be really fun. Um, once we get more guns and more maps and stuff, I can see this game having sort of the replayability of Battlefield 4, where you can just play it for hours, come back to it in months, and just still be having fun with it. This game mode is sort of, I wouldn't say it's a brand new game mode, you know, it's been, the idea of it's definitely been in games before. 
but it's really fun this drop zone game mode and the 8v8 really I gotta say I didn't think I would like it and I'm in love with it and I'm having such a blast with it I think it's really fun but anyway uh, you can only get to level 5 and there's some cool perks when we get there we'll talk about that after with the jetpacks and everything but anyway uh, thanks for watching if you uh, enjoyed this leave a like I'll be posting more Battlefront content um, and whatnot, and uh, I really appreciate you guys coming out. Uh, leave a sub because we'll definitely be doing more Battlefront if that's what you're into. And I'll uh, catch you guys on the next one. Ciao!